Concordia wants off house arrest. This morning, he made that plea to a panel of judges, a move that's sure to outrage the families of those killed. All right, Political Buzz, your rapid fire look at the blessed, best political topics of the day. Three questions, 30 seconds on the clock, and playing today, Sirius XM political talk show host and comedian Pete Dominic. Hiram College professor Jason Johnson and CNN contributor Will Kane. First question, guys. Mitt Romney winning Nevada, winning Nevada big. Now he's looking toward Colorado and Minnesota. If he wins both, is that it for Santorum? Pete? I'm sorry, Rick Santorum is still in the presidential race. I, <laughs> I didn't realize that. I mean, listen, Rick Santorum is hanging in there because there's a sliver of supporters that agree with this anti-marriage equality, anti-choice, uh, and anti-science point of view. This guy should have been disqualified after the last CNN debate when he ended it with uh, global warming is a hoax, something that his Catholic pope disagrees with. Pope Benedict, Benedict thinks, thinks climate change is happening and we should worry about it, but I don't know why he's, he's still even there. So yeah, he's done, in short. Will? You know, I don't know, it's, it's, it's not if it's when, Kira. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow, I don't know if it's going to be next week, but I have to say it looks like Rick Santorum's campaign is going to come to an end. And we've had this debate, um, I've had it with some conservatives about, you know, there's still 50% of the conservative electorate that doesn't like Mitt Romney. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, Iowa had it right. Maybe that alternative shouldn't have been Newt Gingrich, it should have been Rick Santorum. We'll never know, but he sure has grown as a candidate. Probably wouldn't have been my vote, but he's grown as a candidate, and he might have been able to be that Mitt Romney answer, but he's not. Jason? Well, you know, the Nevada GOP is like better at counting cards and they work counting votes. I mean, it took forever for us to finally see that there's no chance for somebody like Santorum to be successful. This race is now Mitt Romney's. No one else is going to challenge him. No one else is going to catch up with him. He pulled off Florida. He pulled off Nevada. He's going to win probably all of the primary states on Tuesday. It's time for the other candidates to sort of roll up their sleeves and say, look, we have to start working to beat Barack Obama because they're not going to beat Mitt Romney. All right, here we go. President Obama tells Matt Lauer he deserves a second term. Take a listen. I deserve a second term, but we're not done. We've created 3.7 million jobs over the last 23 months. We've created the most jobs since 2005, the most manufacturing jobs since 1990. But we're not finished. Pete, does he deserve a second term? Well, Kara, that's, that's definitely going to have to be up to the voters. But when we think about how incumbents get reelected and we look at this situation, and how bad the economy was, worse situation since the Depression, and how it's grown. Hey, listen, if we keep adding jobs, most voters don't look at things the way Will and Jason and I and everybody that works at CNN do, day to day, really deep in depth. They say, what's the unemployment rate? Is Gaddafi dead? Is Bin Laden dead? Do I have a job? How's my house doing? That's about it. How am I doing? And if people think that things are better, and, uh, and it's looking that, that way, he'll probably win again. Will? Yo, well, I don't just think he deserves a, a, a second chance, but that's because of long-term issues, Kara. It's things like, it's, it's the way he's building this country for the long term. Things like the health care bill, trying to force in a cap-and-trade bill. These are the reasons that I disagree with President Obama. If he puts his focus on the short term, on the economy, on this unemployment rate, I think he's going to have to live and die by that sword. So if the economy's not doing better in six months, he set himself up for some tough questions. I, d I agree with Pete. It's more, though, than a number on a wall. It's more than un the unemployment number. It's how voters feel. How's inflation? How's housing? How is unemployment? All those add up to a feeling voters have, and we'll just see if they feel better in November. Jason? Of course he deserves re-election. He doesn't have any real competition. I mean, if, if you look at Barack Obama is <laughs> up against, he's up against Mitt Romney, a guy who made his career off of firing people and laying people off in order to make more money. So Barack Obama may have not done a great job. He may have failed to do all sorts of promises. He may have backed down on any of the policies that he promised he was going to initiate in 2008. But he deserves to be reelected because the other options on the Republican side are weak, ineffectual, and aren't going to be able to get things done. So he wins by default. Your buzzer beater now, 20 seconds each on this one. Flip-flopping on SNL. It's a surprise to see you here, Mitt. As I recall, you found the idea of a moon colony silly back in 2012. Ah, oh, Newt, we were all wrong. Ever since you left Earth, it's been a nightmare. Please forgive me and let me work in your administration. I'm just supposed to believe that you've completely changed your position? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for flopping, but he's still the GOP front runner. So could public opinion flip flop on flip flopping once he's up against Obama? Pete, 
Uh, Kara, I hope uh, the public opinion flips on the phrase of flip-flopping. It's a horrible <laughs> phrase. I don't know what to replace it with, but it means you change your mind because of political expediency, which, listen, Mitt Romney's never been a nominee in a general election. He's only been hit that he changed from liberal to conservative. That, that same criticism might not come. Let's just say change in the mind and not use flip-flopping. I don't think it'll matter. It <laughs> will. No, I disagree with you, Pete. Actually, flip-flopping doesn't mean changing your mind because of political expediency. It means changing your mind. Voters don't go so far as to say, why did he change his mind? Sometimes it's not so cynical as for polit political expediency. I'm not speaking to Mitt Romney. I don't know why he changed his mind on so many issues. But we ought to think a little more beyond that. Oh, you changed your mind. Well, maybe you had a legitimate reason to change your mind. Will it be a big issue in November, Karen? No. Jason? Voters don't care about flip-flopping. They care about inspiration. They care about vision. They care about the future. You think about a week ago, Barack Obama is saying, let's stay together, and, and Mitt Romney is basically butchering America the beautiful. That's the kind of thing that's going <laughs> to hurt Mitt Romney this fall. The man can't <laughs> inspire people. America doesn't want a manager. America wants an inspirer. That's going to hurt him, not flip-flopping. Guys, thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kira. You bet. We'll see you then tomorrow. Live coverage of state primaries and caucuses begins 6 Eastern. That's followed by CNN's live